Never Stop Learning week 331. We're gonna take a quick look at a button template I created using symbols in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018. All right, so this is a template that I created for Imprint Revolution. And after a couple tests, we finally got it right. So I figured I'd show you guys uh, how this whole thing works. All right, so over here on the top right in the layers panel, notice I have four different layers here, but three of them are locked down. The only one that's open is the artwork layer. So that's gonna lead people to work in this layer only. All right, over here in the document, it says start here. So that's where I'm gonna start. All right, once you select it, you could tell that this is actually a pattern fill. So once I replace the color of the fill of this object, then it's gonna replace the text. You're no longer gonna see it. All right, so in the properties panel, I'm gonna change the fill color. Let's go with green. All right. Now I'm going to hit the T key, click once on my document, and type in some text here. I'll go with NSL. Uh, command Enter to accept that change. Command Shift C is going to center justify it. Now I'm going to select both of my objects, then click once on the circle, and that's going to turn it into a key object. All right, so now that I have it set up as a key object, I'm going to jump into the Properties panel on the right. Click Center, Center. All right, that way the circle stays right here, right in the center of this guide. That guide is actually the guide for the bleed. Anything outside of that guide will not show up on the button. Everything that's inside, you'll definitely be able to see it. All right, so let's make some changes here to the text. I'm gonna increase the size. All right, and then I'll just change the color over here in the properties panel. All right, I'm gonna go with yellow. All right, this looks good. All right, now that I have my artwork set up, I have to turn this into a symbol so that I can replace all these symbols that are inside the artboard. All right, so I'm gonna select both the circle and the text over in the properties panel on the right, down towards the bottom, you're gonna see these quick actions buttons. All right, so I'm gonna go with group, then choose save as symbol. All right, let's name this NSL, click okay, and we created a brand new symbol. Now to replace the symbols that are inside the artboard, all you have to do is select them all. Then over here on the right, in the properties panel, you get this option here for replace symbol. Click on the drop down menu, choose the symbol that you want to use to replace, and there you go. What's awesome about this is everything's already lined up. It's in the perfect position. I don't have to do any of the guesswork. All right, so let's take a look at what we're actually printing here. All right. So we've got the artwork, you see the bleed here, and actually that's just gonna show up on your screen. That will not print. If you go into the layers panel over here, all right, it's this one here marked button edge. All right, if you double click over here in this empty space, notice this option here for print, that's unchecked. So when we print this, it's not gonna appear on the paper. All right, get out of that. And this white edge here, we found we really needed that for production, actually, it is vital so that we could produce a proper button. If we did a full bleed, it'll be too slippery and we end up with bubbles around the edge of the button and it kind of just falls apart. So we really needed that. And you might notice that there is a gray area, all right? That gray area is gonna help us out if we ever produce any white buttons. What happens is this sheet is gonna be cut into three different strips. If we were producing white buttons, we wouldn't be able to see the button edge and we wouldn't know where to make the cuts. All right, so we got everything that we need in there and it's all set up, but what happens if we wanna make changes to the artwork? Well, that's where this thing really starts to shine. All right, I'm gonna come over here, double click on the symbol. Illustrator lets me know that we're gonna edit the definition of one symbol, but it's gonna make changes to all the instances inside of the document. All right, so I'm gonna click okay. All right, so here I'm just playing with one symbol. In the properties panel, I'm gonna change the fill color. All right, so let's go with, uh, let's say, I don't know, magenta. All right, magenta looks good. And instead of this regular looking font, I wanna use one of the new ones that we have for 2018. So I'm gonna switch over to acumen variable. And let's make some of these variable changes. I wanna increase the weight. All right, that looks pretty cool. I'll go with that. Now, now that I'm done with the artwork, I just have to double click right here on the pasteboard and check that out. Everything else got updated automatically. So you can go back and forth, make as many changes as you need, and you'll be good to go. Now, the only layer we didn't look at was this one over here at the top called actual size. 
Once you turn it on, you'll be able to see if you're going to be missing out on any vital information. That's kind of like one of the last checks or if you wanted to send over a mock-up to your client. All right, now as you see here, we have a note saying to make sure that actual size layer is turned off. So we got to turn that off, then we'll be able to print this out properly. All right, so there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at a button template that I created using symbols in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018.